In a move to fight criminals who hide behind corporate or limited liability organizations, a new legal requirement has been created for many beneficial owners of small businesses to report information about their organizations and themselves to an arm of the Treasury Department. You might have heard of this requirement, but had no idea how to comply. That's about to change. I'm the Tax Geek, and here is Beneficial Ownership Information Reporting, Oversimplified. Starting January 1st, 2024, most small businesses that are organized as LLCs or corporations need to report information on their organizations and their beneficial owners to the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, most often known as FinCEN. This information will be kept in a secure database to assist FinCEN and other law enforcement agencies in combating financial crimes, such as money laundering or using otherwise legally formed entities to commit illegal acts. So who needs to file one of these reports? Most business organizations that were formed as corporations or as limited liability companies and are not not not-for-profit organizations need to file a beneficial ownership information report. Essentially, if your business obtains some sort of entity certification from your state, you are required to file one of these reports. However, merely possessing an EIN from the IRS or a locally issued business license does not require you to file. Businesses that are required to file a beneficial ownership information report provide information about the organization itself and its beneficial owners. Beneficial owners can be any person who owns more than a 25% interest in the organization's equity or share or profits or losses. In addition, it can be any person, whether owner or not, who exercises substantial control over the business. Like all such terms, substantial control can be difficult to define, but according to FinCEN, it includes senior officers and anyone who has the authority to make important decisions for the business. Now that we know who has to report information, exactly what information needs to be reported. Every organization that has a reporting requirement needs to report its legal name, any alternate name the company uses, such as DBAs, trade, or franchise names, the current street address of the principal place of business. This cannot be a P.O. box. In addition, the organization needs to report the jurisdiction under which the entity was formed, which is usually a state, and its taxpayer identification number, which is usually an employer identification number. Each beneficial owner within the organization needs to report the following. The individual's full legal name and date of birth, the individual's residential street address, again, no P.O. boxes, and an identifying number from a government-issued photo ID. This identifying number can be from an unexpired driver's license, government-issued photo ID, or passport. An image of this document must be uploaded with the report. Do not use your social security number or social security card as identification. Now that you know what you need to report, how do you report it? It's actually very easy. Go to boiefiling.fincen.gov and select File BOIR, and you'll be brought to a web page where you can enter the information about your business and its beneficial owners. There is also a mechanism to upload images of identifying documents. Once you've completed the application and received a confirmation, you're all set. The Beneficial Ownership Information Report only needs to be filed once unless the Beneficial Ownership Information changes. So when does the BOIR need to be completed? If your organization was formed before January 1st, 2024, you have until January 1st, 2025 to comply with the reporting requirement. If your business was formed during 2024, you have 90 days from date of formation to comply. And any organization formed after January 1st, 2025 has 30 days from its formation date to comply. Although you can engage a third party to file your beneficial ownership information report, for most small operations, it's easy to comply by going directly to the FinCEN website on your own. And beware of text messages or emails offering to file your BOIR for a fee if you send them the information. These messages are universally scams. In fact, these are exactly the types of activities FinCEN is hoping to shut down with the assistance from this database. Only deal directly with FinCEN or with a trusted third party, such as an accountant, attorney, or tax professional. 
There is much more to the beneficial ownership information filing requirement, especially for larger, more complex organizations. The FAQ page on FinCEN's website on BOIR runs to 33 pages of densely packed information. Links to these and other resources, including the reporting link itself, are given in the video description. If you found this video informative, liking and sharing it are always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to see more oversimplifications of our overcomplicated tax system. This video was inspired by this comment. If you'd like to see your suggestion turned into a video, leave it and any other questions or comments you may have in the comment space below. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more of your taxes oversimplified.